about 600 families all across Canada who are devastated. Many who have left Canada because they simply cannot afford to live here anymore. Many that love Canada, they love this land, but now they feel they can't even live here because they're heartbroken because hydro has become so expensive that they can't. And now we add a carbon tax, a carbon tax on air, air that we contribute only 1% of, of pollution to, 1%. It's wrong on so many levels, and it is not right that we should be paying for wind's greedy spending. It needs to stop. It's so no. No. Mr. No. Trudeau, no. I'm here today because you didn't answer my questions on January 13th. You didn't tell me how rural Ontario and how you're going to fix hydro and how you're going to stop this carbon tax. You need to do it and you need to do it now. We can't wait two more years. We need a fix now. We need it now. Winter is here. This is Canada. This is winter in Canada. We can't afford to be paying carbon taxes when we barely have enough food left after paying our hydro bill to put groceries and food on the table. Children are being told they can't have lunches. They're being sent to school with no juices. Their families are keeping them in their homes and their snowsuits because they can't afford the hydro. It all needs to stop. We need to fix hydro. We need to fix Canada. And we need to stop the carbon tax. We need to stop it now. Thank you. Cassie, Cassie, thank you very much, Cassie. Very impassioned plea from a concerned Canadian and Ontario resident. And we a mother. And a mother, absolutely. This is what's happening to the people of this province, and we have our next speaker. Not sure where she may be. We're looking for Christine from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. There, we go. there she is. Hi, Christine. Christine Van Goyen. Come on down. Thanks so much. My name is Christine Van Nine. I'm with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. We're a nonprofit, nonpartisan advocacy organization. And we have a campaign at stophighenergybills.ca, which is against the cap and trade tax and against the carbon tax, uh, against the high energy policies that we see here in Ontario. So let me ask you guys who here is mad about the hydro bill? <laughs> who here is mad about cap and trade? <laughs> Kathleen Wynn and Justin Trudeau. You know, I, I, I travel across Ontario and, and across Canada, and I've talked to so many people about this issue, and I just have to say, I think people here in this province are the angriest in the whole, pro in the whole country. Things in this province are out of control. The same people who were responsible for the crisis, the hydro crisis in Ontario, are now advising the Prime Minister. And they're the ones getting him to pursue policies like, ca like uh, carbon tax and uh, it's going to do just to your home heating bills, your, your natural gas bills and your gasoline bills, what Kathleen Wynne did to your hydro bills. So, we have this, this cap and trade policy in Ontario. In the next few years, it's going to send $2.2 billion to Quebec and California. Brilliant. Why? Why? So that the Premier can claim a political goal. She can claim, a, she met a, a, an agreement that she made in Paris to reduce emissions when the vast majority of emission reductions are actually going to take place outside of Ontario. It's political credit for something she's not even doing that will cost us, the hardworking people, people in Ontario billions of dollars. Heating your home is not a luxury. Turning your lights on in your home is not a luxury and commuting to work is not a luxury. It can't be treated like one anymore. That's why we're here. We ask people to get engaged, talk to their politicians, come to stophighenergybills.ca, uh, write a letter to the editor, submit an opinion editorial to your local newspaper, get engaged, um, do what Kathy did, engage with other people. Kathy, thank you so much for the message that you gave to our Prime Minister. We, your, your message resonated with so many people and you would be shocked how many people I hear from every single day who are in the same position as you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone who's here today. Thank you, Christine. Thank you very much from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Christine Van Gein.